Minnesota leaders say that the state is in a home health care crisis. The most recent data shows Minnesota has more than 7,000 job vacancies in the personal care industry. Tonight, the family of a man who died without the help he needed is sharing his story. Our David Schumann has been following this issue and continues our coverage with where solutions could come from. Dennis Prothero died of COVID and pneumonia shortly after we met him in his Stillwater apartment in November. He'd had a rough go, a quadriplegic. Dennis's legs were amputated this summer when he developed sores, spending night after night in his wheelchair. If I had been sleeping in bed with the help of a PCA to get in and out of bed in the evenings, I wouldn't have had this. PCA is personal care assistant, and Dennis relied on such caregivers for many basic needs. But PCAs were and are in short supply. That was heartbreaking to know you can't physically be there and help your father through these tough times. We're just sitting there feeling like kind of helpless. Dennis's daughters say he was a selfless family man with a relentlessly positive attitude, even when he was living without help. Part of the problem is the median wage for PCAs is roughly $14 an hour, so it's a profession hurting for workers. That was a problem before the pandemic, uh, but now it is a full-blown crisis. Senator Carla Nelson is helping lead the bipartisan effort for more state funding for hiring and retention bonuses and training. There's a good roadmap here uh, for how we can help uh, with that uh, significant and sometimes um, matter of life and death uh, staffing issues. Dennis's story has been mentioned at the Capitol, something his daughters say he was proud of. He just wanted to make people aware because I think if you don't know people that are drastically affected by PCA shortages and things like that, you don't know that it's an issue. If we can help even one person with this, like, We'd be definitely fulfilling his memory, but we don't want to see this happen to another family. David Schumann, WCCO 4 News. Senator Nelson is hoping to address the PCA crisis early in next year's legislative session.